everyone. A lot of you have been sharing with me that you feel stressed out or unmotivated or overwhelmed. And even though at times it feels like there's nothing we can do to change how we feel, research shows that there are actually small actions that we can take that have the potential to improve our mood and overall well-being. So I think that it is extremely important to plan in some time each day for self-care, even if it's just a few minutes. And in order to help you to do that, I created this sheet of wellness planner stickers. I'm also going to be sharing some resources for some other free printables. This sticker sheet comes with half boxes that say today's wellness task. There are also these habit trackers. You can place these in your sidebar and then work on multiple habits each week once you get up to that level. These printables will hopefully help to encourage you to plan in wellness activities into your life. I'll show you how I'm using these stickers and printables in my planner later on in this video, but first let's discuss some examples of wellness activities. Wellness activities or wellness tasks are important to plan into your day or week because they may be able to help you to improve your mood and increase your motivation. One example is to take a nature walk. A study that took place in Japan divided the participants into two separate groups. One group was asked to walk in a city for 20 minutes and the other half was asked to walk in a forest area for 20 minutes. And later that day, they were then asked to watch the landscapes in their assigned area for 20 minutes as well. And the researchers found that the participants who had walked in the forest area had significantly lower levels of cortisol than those who had walked in the city area. The participants who had spent time in the forest area also reported feeling much calmer. And this may suggest that we can decrease our stress levels by walking in nature or being in nature. Meditation has been shown to increase dopamine levels and increasing dopamine can help you to increase your motivation and drive. Petting an animal can also help you to feel better. There was one study that found that positive interactions with a dog not only decreased cortisol in the study participants, but it increased their dopamine and oxytocin levels as well. Exercise releases endorphins, which can reduce your pain and increase your general feeling of well-being. Exercise also increases serotonin, which improves your mood. And this is just a handful of examples. But when I was doing research for this video, I found a bunch of free resources on this one website and I'll leave the link below for you. But they have sheets with examples of different activities that you can do to increase your dopamine or your oxytocin, your serotonin, your endorphins, which then you can print out. So I printed these at 82% so that they'll fit into my planner. I'm going to start by cutting these sheets out and then adding them onto pre-punched happy planner filler paper so that I can decorate them. But you could also just punch holes in these sheets and add them directly to your planner. Please keep in mind that the website that is giving away the printables was created for children. So not everything on the list is going to be relevant, but there are still good ideas that you can use on there like listening to music, doing yoga, reading, going on a hike, meditating, etc. It's just to get you started with coming up with ideas. And if you don't want to use the same printables that I'm using, another idea is to make your own list of activities that are relevant to you and add those to your planner. I'm adding these printables behind my long-term collections tab in my wellness planner so I can reference them as I'm planning out my week. And if you want to see what else is in my wellness planner, I'll leave the link to the video in the description down below. The idea of this is that you can then use the four wellness printables as a reference for planning out which are the wellness tasks or wellness activities that you want to do that day. When you intentionally plan something out, 
you are making it more likely to happen. When there is no plan in place, those urgent but unimportant tasks can easily creep in and take precedence over your self-care. So I'm going to pick some activities that sound like I would enjoy and then schedule in one per day after placing down one of those wellness stickers. And I'm not taking all of the wellness tasks from just one of the sheets. I want to make sure that I'm addressing all four categories of dose, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. So I'll pull some of the tasks from those other inserts as well. This habit tracker is for wellness habits that you want to do every day. For example, maybe you want to start the habit of meditating every day or practicing daily gratitude. Those are two that I am working on right now. There are seven boxes on here labeled with each day of the week, so you can check it off each day as you go and monitor your progress. I hope that this video gave you some ideas for planning self-care or wellness activities into your day and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!